Hi, and welcome to this demonstration on how to prepare your layout for Sunstone prototype fabrication. What we're looking at here is a, is a completed um, design in the NI Ulti board environment. You'll see the various components, uh, LEDs, copper routes, etc. And if I zoom to the right hand side, what I can see is the 3D preview of that board. I'm just rotating this in various directions, looking at it from a number of angles, just to confirm that it's ready for export. I'm now ready to export my Gerber files to Sunstone for, to begin the actual fabrication process. We're going to send the Gerber RS274X format, uh, which is the industry standard. But before we export, let's check the properties of our export. Uh, this will show us the various layers that we're sending to our fabrication house. Uh, we've already made a couple of choices. Uh, let's add the copper bottom as well as the board outline to that. And once those have been placed into the export layers column, we can click on OK and begin the export process of each one of those layers individually as a Gerber file. We just click on the export button and we're then directed to save each one of those Gerber files onto our desktop. I'm going to save each one of these individually. And you'll notice that we're saving things like our copper bottom and board outline. Once I finish saving those, what I'm going to do now is prepare those files to be sent to Sunstone. They've already been created here on my desktop, and I'm going to add them into a zipped archive. I'm going to do that by just creating a zip folder, which is going to be, end up being called design underscore bavish. I'm going to add all of those files to the folder, and then I'm going to send it to that archive or that compressed zip file. Once that file is created, I can now upload this to Sunstone. Now Sunstone, with their collaboration with National Instruments, has created a special web page called sunstone.com slash multisim, where you can find various bits of information, as well as the three fabrication choices, uh, including Value Proto and what we'll be using today, which is PCB Express. Once I click on the quote PCB Express button, what I can do is enter the, the various bits of information for our board, as well as upload the Gerber files which I've created in order for the fabrication process to take place. With this collaboration, it's very easy to finalize your board.